Thank you so much. Thank you very much. This is so nice, so nice of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long time dream of mine that I would one day receive an honorary Oscar. And tonight, I feel I am one step closer to that dream. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> so now it's just the class ha level has dropped <laughs> completely. I can't possibly express how excited I am tonight because the Botox is fresh. <laughs> you know, it is said that the art and craft of filmmaking is collaborative, so to be singled out and rewarded tonight means that that is not true. Is it my imagination, or is this year's Oscar ceremony a little on the cheap side? <laughs> I must thank the people who spoke on my behalf tonight. My high school friend, Bill Taylor. Uh, Bill, who, who, by the way, he was a distinguished uh, visual effects artist and cinematographer. Whoever thought we would meet more than 50 years later on such an auspicious stage. Congratulations on your life and career too, Bill. And following Bill, <laughs> following Bill, a comedian so renowned and funny whose work has only grown over the years and who never fails to make us laugh in new and unique ways. If only we had had someone like that tonight. <laughs> You should have seen Marty Short's face fall when I told him the gift basket was taxable. <laughs> and then the beautiful speech by Tom Hanks. Thank you, Tom. <clears throat> Everybody loves Tom Hanks. <laughs> what a talent. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I saw Captain Phillips. I didn't think it was so funny. <laughs> but seriously, I have so many people in my career to mention and thank. My very first manager <clears throat> back in the 60s, Bill McEwen. My first two agents, Marty Klein and John Gaines. Some of you may remember them. John Gaines was all business. One time he called me and he said, Steve, two things. One, hello. <laughs> Carl Reiner, how lucky was I to get with Carl Reiner? Who <clears throat> taught me so much about how to work on a script. David Picker. Um, Michael Gendler, my lawyer for over, I think it's 30 years, isn't Michael? Something like that? I, st I stick with people until they die. <laughs> Nancy Myers and Charles Shire, Nora Ephron, Frank Griffin, my makeup man for over how many, 20 years? More than that, more than that. Dan Melnick, a producer who had a great eye for a script. Fred Skepsey, who directed Roxanne. John Hughes, who wrote and directed Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I, I, the, I read the first script. And it was, the first script was 165 pages long. And I, I love the script. I said to John, uh, what are you thinking about cutting? And he said, cutting? <laughs> the first, uh, the first uh, cut of the film was four and a half hours long. <laughs> Phil Robinson, who is here tonight and wrote All of Me, which absolutely changed my career. Um, <laughs> Brian Grazer, another producer who kept his eye on the script. Ron Howard, David Mamet, Larry Kasdan, the great Larry Kasdan. Frank Oz, who's here tonight, who did so much uh, great, great comedies. 
some of my best comedies with him, Mick Jackson, who directed L.A. Story, John Landis, who directed the little movie that could, Three Amigos, Bob Simons, Ed Lamato, God rest his soul, Adam Vennett. So many of my agents have died. Watch out, Adam. <laughs> my wife, Ann Stringfield, who is as beautiful as she is smart. And <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make it through this speech. I read it to my dog this morning and wept. My, <laughs> my wife alone would have been enough reward for my life, but now she has brought me a wonderful child. And for some mysterious reason, she really loves that child. I don't know. I don't get it. In 2008, Nancy Myers asked me to appear in It's Complicated with Meryl Streep and Alec Baldwin. And I hadn't done a movie in a long while, and I didn't really know how I felt about them anymore, because along with the joy that they have brought me over the past 34 years, people in this room know they also bring an equal amount of artistic heartache. Heartache. And I went out to the set across the Queensboro Bridge on a cold winter morning, and on the first day of shooting, I opened the door to the dark soundstage. I stepped over all those black snaking electric cables and walked past the craft service table that overflowed with boxes of raisins and <laughs> bagels and muffins and the slowest toaster in the world. <laughs> and jars of M&Ms and Twizzlers for breakfast and <laughs> every variety of mustard. And I as I made this little journey that I had made a thousand times in every studio in this city, walking through the corridors, through this flimsy plywood flats and the light changing from pitch black to blinding white, I thought, home. <laughs> so to get an award for something that you realize has seeped into your bones and to understand tonight that the work over the decades has at least meant something to someone is especially satisfying. But working in the movies has also brought something, an amazing gift that has accumulated through these decades of filmmaking that cannot be matched. Something wonderful and magical and its impact on my life is profound. Friends. Fascinating, funny, and lifelong. Many of them are here in this room tonight. So thank you, movies, and thank you, Academy, for this award and a glorious reminder of the true benefit that I have received.